Right, everybody. Uh, just a quick one on folding soles. You know, sort of like a side by side comparison. So I've got five there. That's one's from Shred, it's the old timer. Garden, what's it called? Garden Corner. I think that came out of um, B&M's or somewhere like that. Back of Laplander. The Highlander Wolverine. And a Kingfisher, one from the Kingfisher Gold. That come from Amazon. Alright. Just go through one at a time. No particular order. I'll go from bottom to top. I'll open them up. As you can see, they're all a similar size. Uh, should we say over a fiver, under a tenner? That's the Kingfisher Gold. Wolverine. Uh, should we say 10 to 12 pounds sterling? The Laplander, this is called my uh, personal kit, this I might show you my personal kit. The Laplander, I've just had a quick look. She was say 17 to 20. Garden corner, let's say. I came out of B&M's, less than a fiver. And then this came in a kit, which is the old timer from Shred. This is a heavy duty saw that is. It's got a lock. See that there? It's got a line of lock on it. Uh, you can use that one handed. But that's hefty. That's a hefty old saw that is. Used to say look. Not bad little saw actually as it happens. Uh, unused like I say. This is my personal kit. I came up with my personal kit. Uh, Raplanders speak for themselves. Wolverines quite fond of. Quite fun though. And uh, Kingfisher. Uh, it feels tacky. It feels dangerous, but it's probably safe, you know what I mean? So, you got your, your pay your money, you take your choice. But it's like um, the survival knife, isn't it? People say, oh, which is the best survival knife? It just so happens to be the one that you've got. Uh, I'm quite fond of the old Wolverine. Uh, I'll come back to that. But that's my sort of go-to saw. The Laplander you can just trust, can't you, straight away. If it's good enough for Ray Mears. I don't mind following suit, but a Laplander. But I think they're expensive. Hence with the Wolverines. I just think they are expensive for what they are. I found that to be okay. Not the best, but doable. And I haven't used that yet, but like I said, that come in a set. Came in a set like that with a holster, and the folding saw goes in there. Secretaire's small little fixed blade knife. But uh, it's heavy. You wouldn't want that in your pack. But any one of these ones, all day long in your pack. But uh, the point of this video being is, you know, people say, you know, you buy quality, you buy once. Well, for me, on these saws, right, couldn't agree more. That lander, go for it. Right, if that's what you want to do, you go for it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with these Wolverines. Uh, I have looked just recently. For a couple of pounds more for one lap lander, at the minute, three Wolverines from a company called Contact Left. £24 delivered for three. So if you work that out, that's less than £9 a, £9 a piece for three saws. And I think Wolverines, they are a good enough, decent saw that you could rely on. But there's no doubt at all, back all Laplanders, you know, hell of a reputation. I'd say if it's good enough for him, yes, good enough for me. But absolutely nothing wrong with these Wolverines. 
at all. I just thought I'd give a little heads up. And that the fact that you could get three Wolverine saws for £24 at the minute from Contact Left. I thought that was a good deal, especially if you're into making kits. I've got now, you know what I mean? You can be uh, scattered about and I'm not missing the money over a few, you know what I mean? A few weeks saving it back up again for something else. So, I've got preference for Wolverines. If the budget was bigger, I'd probably buy, go off and buy another four of those for my kits. But this comes out my personal kit. There's a couple of other things I might show you in my personal toolkit. And I don't mind at all going down the cheaper end of the market. That is a heavier saw. It's got a lock on it, but it is a heavier piece of kit that. That's from Shred. And I wouldn't say carry that round in your pack because that really that is heavy. This is the one. And forward and saws in my opinion. You know, for one of them, like I say, for one of them with, with posts, posters and packaging, you could be getting three of them. That's just as long. So I don't think I'm the only one who uh, would suggest a Wolverine, although I'm not suggesting anything. Just my little preference. Wolverines. You've seen that one before, it come up the, out the window kit. Like I say, I might show you all my personal kit one time. But, uh, back off. But like I say, no problems at all. We're going down. Sort of semi throwaway, aren't they? Whereas these ones. Last you a good time. Just my opinion on folding saws. I've got a preference for Wolverines because of the price range and what they do. And I've always thought these were slightly overpriced. Not overrated, but overpriced. 